A point of order was moved at Tuesday's plenary session by the chairman of the Senate Committee on Army, Ali Ndume, who raised concerns about the number of casualties recorded by the Nigerian Army and other security agencies. The lawmaker particularly pointed out that 24 soldiers were recently ambushed and killed along Dambuwa Meiduguri in Borono State. The Senate is disturbed that in Katina again, about 20 soldiers were also ambushed and killed while several others were wounded. The number of civilian casualty is not known. This Senate appreciates the sacrifice of our armed forces in the fight against insurgency, banditry, and protection of territorial integrity of Nigeria and several other security assignments given to them. Lawmakers in their various contributions expressed worry over the latest resignation of over 200 soldiers saying it shows the level of dissatisfaction on the part of security agencies while also calling on a federal government to treat the issue as a national emergency. So Mr. President, I support this motion and I plead that we do not take things for granted any longer in Nigeria. Because it got to the point, I'm sure you are aware, that last week the states of soldiers deserted the army. When it gets to the point where soldiers who are trained to fight and possibly die, decide to leave their command, then we have a problem. And I think this is time for us to be more decisive in dealing with this, this situation. The Senate then called for the resignation of the country's service chiefs following the worsening state of insecurity across Nigeria. President, I rise to second the motion as heavily moved that the service chiefs step aside for new people to come in. I so second. General prayer by Senator Francis. Father on CCI, Aye. those against any, that is our, our armed forces are trying very hard, just like the president said, the good is still not enough, but we need to continue to encourage them, we need to continue to provide for them, we need to continue to provide for them, they lay their lives on behalf of all of us. And of course, it's very sad that some of them are deserting, are alleged to have deserted the war front. We need to get to the bottom of this. This, our joint committee, should be able to find out the, uh, the facts about this allegation of over 200 deserting uh, the war front. The Senate also urged the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, intensify the provisions of modern equipment to enhance the operational capabilities of Nigerians' armed forces. From the National Assembly, I am Osawa Name Ibizubi, ITV News, Abuja.